So what I'm holding in my hands here is an Emacs Auto Booster that provides up to 45% more hot water to your tanked water heater. So true story, the other day, uh, wife ran out of, out of hot water uh, while taking a bath and you know we had the dishwasher going, the washing machine was going, both the girls just took their baths. Uh, so, you know, even though it's a 50 gallon tank, um, it's going to run out of hot water sooner or later. We've all been there, right? So, uh, so instead of completely ripping out that tanked system and, and investing in a tankless, uh, what I'd like to do is just add more hot water to the tankless. So now they make this booster. Uh, they claim to do up to 45% more hot water on top of your tank system. So I'm going to call my friends over at Horizon Plumbing to install this tankless booster uh, to give us more hot water so, um, so I can keep the wife happy. Before you start using any hot water, yes, you do have 50 gallons of hot water. As you start to use it, you got to know that cold water is being introduced into the tank down here. Yep. So once you use the first third of this, your water temperature, your hot water temperature coming out of the unit, you got more cold water coming in, your mm -hmm. water temperature coming out of the unit is going to start start getting colder. It's going to start, it'll get to a point where it's lukewarm, so, or luke, lukewarm instead mm -hmm. of hot. Gotcha. So you really don't have, you have 50 gallons of hot water, but you don't have usable, use, usable, have usable hot water of 50 gallons. So yeah, so I put this on, I tested it for about six months. I haven't ran out of hot water yet. No kidding. And they, they claim it gives you up to 25% more hot water. And how it works is as this water temperature coming out of the hot uh -huh. starts to cool down and drop below the actual temperature that you have the unit set at. Yeah. This device takes the power to the to these coils, which is basically a mini tankless. Gotcha. Heater, and it heats it back up to 120 degrees. That's the default setting right now. You can lower that if you like, mm -hmm. but from the factory it comes at what 20, and that's where I left mine. Okay. So as your water coming out of here drops below 120, it's going to kick it back up to one, to 120. Now, I've also seen claims of up to 45%. So probably minimum, would it be safe to say, you know, 25%, especially in your experience, 25% was pretty pretty standard, right? Pretty common. They typically say that if, if, if you put it on a 50-gallon water heater, mm -hmm. it makes that equivalent to a 75-gallon water heater. Got it, okay. But remember, a 75-gallon water heater really isn't giving you 75 usable. gallons of sure. usable hot water. Mm -hmm. So... And just like a 50s knot. The first thing you do, you turn off the power. Sure. Check it. Make sure you don't have power here. You don't want to. You don't want to jolt yourself into next week. So you take off the power. You're going to install the unit on the hot side inlet. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go in here. It's going to go through the device, and then it's going to go out to the fixtures or the demand wherever you want it. The wiring for your for your unit is actually going to go into the device and then the device comes with a whip another piece of wiring that goes from the unit back back to your to your heater okay now you can control the power now the device controls the power to the unit so when the unit's not in use when you're not using hot water the, this unit is going to keep the power on on the tank just like normal and it's mm -hmm. going to it's going to heat this unit like it's like it's supposed to And like I said, that temperature gets below 120 degrees. Mm -hmm. The unit is going to take the power from here and put it back to the device, and it's going to take that water and it's going to heat it up to above 100. So there's a sensor just it's, waiting yeah, for it to sink. Stat or a thermistor or whatever gotcha. you prefer to call it. Gotcha. And it it knows how hot that water is. Okay. Now the neat thing about this device from Emacs is that it will it also has a vacation mode you just go in you flip some dials and you hit vacation it'll just keep the unit off all the time the other thing it has is a timer so there is a there's a clock timer in there so say you, there's just a few of you living in the house mm -hmm. and you get up early or whatever but you're not home all day you go in there you set the timer to to turn the unit off at say six in the morning and you don't need it back on till three in the afternoon mm -hmm. The unit will automatically do that for you if the timer's set how you how you use the hot water, and you're not you're not wasting heating this water all day long. You're only heating this water when you need it. It's so gonna save you money.
try it again for you. Grab your mug. All right, Tori, we've got it installed. We've got the power on. And you push this button right here, and that puts you into the main screen. That's your flow rate, gallons per minute, if you want to know that. You just turn it, and it gives you different, there's your time, active, total, your setup. You go to setup, push that, and then it goes into another program mode. Your activation, in other words, this unit's going to activate when that temperature drops below 115. Mm. Its target temperature is 120. So it's going to start at 115. It's going to keep heating your, your water coming out of here to 120 for as long as it can. Okay. It's not going to continually be able to do that um, just because it, it's only got so much it can do. But mm -hmm. it will supposedly give you, like we said, up to 25% more mm -hmm. usable hot water. Then you got vacation mode. This is the important one. So you flip over to vacation mode. And you and you push on that, and it'll go vacation mode on. Mm -hmm. And then that that keeps the power off to this tank. Got it. Don't do like I did and come back from vacation and forget to come up here. <laughs> you got to come back up here, go to vacation mode, and then and then set it back it, to off. And then turn it back off. Uh huh. Yeah. And then it, it's got eco mode. You can read in the directions what that'll do. Uh, it's going to change the activation and deactivation rates. Basically, it's you're going to. It's like turning the water heater down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the version of the software. And that's it. We're back to that. All right. And just a reminder for everybody back home, uh, this is something that you really don't want to attempt to install yourselves. I, I, I certainly recommend uh, hiring a licensed plumber because you are dealing with uh, quite a bit of electricity and uh, obviously, uh, connections you know to and from the uh, your water heater. So, uh, so for your you uh, you DIYers out there, definitely uh, hire a licensed plumber to do an installation like this. And, uh, and if you happen to live in the North Texas area, uh, visit HorizonService.net, and Horizon can get you fixed up. Yeah, and this will automatically go off in a few minutes. It's not going to stay on. So okay. If you see it go blank, it's not that you lost power. Gotcha. All right. It's just going to sleep. Sure. All right. Thanks so much, Troy. Thank you. Uh huh.